Have you ever wondered if you are a good kisser? As a relationship expert, I know that if you do some specific things, they're gonna think you're an amazing kisser and you're also really gonna turn them on. The biggest complaint I've heard about people kissing is that they came in too strong and aggressive right from the jump. You're gonna take it super slow, just match their energy, enjoy the process, and in doing this, you're already avoiding like the number one mistake that most people make. Second thing you're gonna do, and this might feel a little awkward, but I promise you it's not, is you're gonna make some noise. When you are kissing and it's feeling good, your body is naturally gonna wanna make noises. Don't suppress the noises, let them come out naturally and I promise you it's a huge turn on for the other person. The next thing you're gonna do is avoid puckering like the plague and instead you're gonna lock lips. Puckering is how you were taught to kiss your grandma when you're five, like this. And in making out, there's no place for that. To lock lips, you just keep your lips really soft and put one of their lips between your two lips and if you wanna practice, you can use your finger as one of their lips. If you don't have a lot of experience using your tongue, don't worry about it. Just keep your tongue very soft and focus on them taking the lead. Just follow along with what they do. Now, if you wanna be really memorable, lick around their lips, their neck, and their ears, and like pay attention to the sounds they make because that's gonna tell you what they want more of. Finally, you are gonna remember that kissing isn't just about your lips and your face. It's about your entire body. Do not be afraid to use your hands to touch their body, to touch their face, like embrace that. The more tuned in you are to what your body's telling you and what their body's telling you, that is ultimately what's gonna make you like the most amazing kisser you can be.